Hello, I'm Kimberly Leonard, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. A University of Louisville degree is one of the most valuable things you'll ever have. It's our job to help ensure that the people you work with and the opportunities that you'll have here to learn, both in and out of the classroom, are the best that you'll find anywhere. Most of you know that in college, you will choose a major. The major will teach you how to think critically, deeply, and allow you to develop factual knowledge that will help you become an expert in a certain field. Some of you may have already decided on a field you want to study. For example, English, engineering, or nursing, teaching, history, business, art, communication, or biology. Some of you might not know yet, and that's fine. There are a lot of people who don't know, and even those who do think that they know often change their minds about their major. That's one of the reasons why some of you might take courses in your major in your first year, but all of you will take an array of courses in the liberal arts and sciences. At the University of Louisville, we refer to these courses in the liberal arts and sciences as general education, or gen ed. You'll have a lot of choices about which gen ed courses to take, but they will include coursework in four distinct areas. Arts and humanities, natural and science and mathematics, oral and written communication, and social and behavioral sciences. The learning that you do in these areas develops specific competencies to think critically from different points of view, to analyze different kinds of information, to make and judge arguments and then communicate them effectively, and to understand cultural diversity and strengthen our ability to value and relate to people. These are skills that are absolutely essential in the 21st century. And by exploring the ways different disciplines seek to answer these questions, you will also discover that not all subject areas emphasize the same approach to understanding issues. Some may focus on individual or cultural factors. Others may emphasize social or biological factors, and still others may focus on religious, philosophical, or psychological factors. You may well discover that many questions, like why human beings do what they do, have as many answers out there as there are disciplines. Your general education program will prepare you, will bring you into the multidisciplinary conversations on questions like these, and will prepare you to evaluate new answers in college and beyond. The university also has an initiative called Ideas to Action, or I2A. This is designed to help you build your core critical thinking skills across your general education program. We use a common critical thinking vocabulary at the university to help you make connections across your courses. You will deepen these skills in discipline-specific courses you will take in your major, and you will have an opportunity to apply what you've learned by completing a culminating undergraduate experience, something we call the, the CUE. What might be a research paper, an internship, practicum, or some other real-world activity. I invite you now to begin your journey and see how each of the general education categories will give you these skills. I wish you great success as you begin your adventure of shaping your education and your future.